Ooh, that sounds like make the kids look good. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today. Um, so this might be a little bit of a vlog today for me. Um, by the way, happy Juneteenth to everybody out there. So that's what this is. It's just me um, vlogging Juneteenth. I am actually en route to go home. Um, my hometown of Tyler, Texas, you know, we we show out for Juneteenth down there. We show out, we show out, we show out. It's like a family function. So we have a parade. And then after the parade, we have a park that we walk down to. You know, you have your food, you have your um, hot links, you have your, you have your hot links, the swimming pool, which I don't do the swimming pool, especially that swimming pool in the hood. I don't do that swimming pool. Um, you know, we have people who do spoken word. You have people who perform. You have you just have a lot of stuff. It's like it's really a family affair, but it's also a family affair because you know in my hometown it's pretty small, so just about everybody knows everyone for the most part. But yeah, going home for Juneteenth. Uh, I'm not fucking with Dallas and Juneteenth. Nothing against Dallas, but yeah, Tyler is where it is. Um, let's talk about Juneteenth real quick. So you guys know that. Um, I don't remember which day it was. I'll look it up and then I'll probably put it in the video when I edit it. But Juneteenth, President Biden, he signed it as a national holiday, right? Well, it's a federal holiday now, so people will get to have the day off. Me personally, every year from Juneteenth, I always take off. I choose not to work. You know, that was the day my ancestors were freed as slaves. So I say F the white people. I ain't finna make y'all no money on this day. Only person that's gonna make some money on this day is this kid. Not you. So yeah, um, so yeah, it's a federal holiday now. Now I don't know if things were closed yesterday. That's the question that I you know have. Because you know with federal holidays, the banks are closed, um, the post office don't, you know, the postal service doesn't run and stuff like that. So I don't know what happened with that. Now what I will say is I did see a lot of white people that were upset about the fact that, you know, it's become a national, it's a federal holiday. And it's, it's the same old thing with the Republican people, with the Republican Party. It's the Democrats this, it's the Democrats that. And then I saw that idiot CO, whose name I don't mention on this channel, she tweeted that the only day she celebrates for independence is the 4th of July. And it was good that Azalea Banks read her dumb ass for filth. Because, like, girl, you sounded so stupid. Because if you lived in Texas or any other state in 1776, July 4th, you would not have been a free person. You would still have been enslaved. You would have been out there picking cotton and all that crap. So, girl, shut up. Because you sound like she is the most ignorant person around. Like, you, you really try to be anti-black and you black as hell. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me with her. She's the worst. Like, ugh. Now, when it comes to Juneteenth being a federal holiday, I will say I'm happy that it's a holiday. I am going to say that. But I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it. And the reason why I have mixed feelings is just look at these other holidays that are from, you know, not, you know, not, you know, like, look at Cinco de Mayo. Nothing wrong with that. We all celebrate. There is a mosquito in my car. I thought I got it out. Oh, you gotta go. It's still up there. <clears throat> so yeah, um, Juneteenth being a federal holiday. The only thing that I have an issue with is I know it's gonna happen. They're gonna monetize the hell out of Juneteenth. That's really what it is for me. They're gonna eventually monetize the hell out of Juneteenth. But it is what it is, you know. I'm cool with it. I'm actually, like I said, I'm cool with it and I'm happy with it. I just have that bit of reservation about Juneteenth, them monetizing it. That's really what it is. You know, I had a, um, I had a conversation. It was actually, well, I didn't have a conversation. It was one of you know who supporters last year. They were talking about Juneteenth on Twitter, and they were talking about well, Juneteenth is just something that's been, you know, just become um, popular in the last few years. I'm like, well, that's a lie. I'm like, I've been in Texas my entire life. I've been in Texas for, what, 30 years? Now, I'm about to be 32. I've been here for 30 years. Because my mom and I moved here when I was two, um, two and a half years old. 
So I've been here for 30 years. Every year we celebrate Juneteenth. Every year my mom would take me to the Juneteenth parade in our hometown. We, she, we would go to the Juneteenth parade. She didn't want to go to the park because it's too hot. Like that, and that actually goes back to the idiot CO. Her talking point about she only celebrates July 4th, right? Well, here's the thing about that. You would have been a, a you would have been a slave in the hot sun, picking cotton, doing whatever else the slaves were doing during that time. Again, you would not have been, you know, out there celebrating with them. You wouldn't have been drinking, you know, alcohol or whatever. You would have been tending to your slave masters. And especially in this hot ass Texas heat. Like it's my car is already reading 83 degrees right now. And it is currently it's a little shy of eight o'clock in the morning. And it's already hot as hell. But yeah, <clears throat> back to that conversation. So yeah, one of you know who supported was like, well, you know, Juneteenth is just become it's just become something that's very popular. It's not. It's not, especially in the South. Like, I know people, I knew people, when I, I have friends from Georgia, and, you know, I have friends, like I said, Georgia, and they know about Juneteenth. <laughs> like I said, it's a southern thing. Now, yes, if, you know, if the northern states may have recently, within the last, you know, maybe decade or 15 years or so, may have just, you know, um, you know, really acknowledged it, but it's been around for years and years and years. So try again. But yeah, other than that, I'm really happy that they finally signed it into, you know, a federal holiday. But the thing is, there's so much more stuff that needs to be done besides giving us this day as a holiday. There's so many things that needs to be done. You know, like they signed um, the Asian hate bill. Why can't we do something like that for African Americans, you know? It's, it's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Police, you know, police reform and all that. It's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done, but I guess, you know, we'll take this one small step, but, you know, we got to keep, we got to <clears throat> keep pushing forward. Got to keep pushing forward, you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to talk about right now. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Nah, I really wish this camera would stop turning. You know what? I better leave it alone before it falls off again because I was, <laughs> I was, trying to get it situated a few minutes ago and before I even started recording it fell on my lap actually it fell on my kneecap oh god my allergies my eyes have been watering for days I don't know what's in the air here in Texas but whatever it is it's gotta go got to go my nose is you know stopped up runny my eyes are watering but yeah um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great Juneteenth, uh, you know, weekend. Have fun, you guys. But above all of that, be safe. This camera is literally annoying my spirit. Um, so yeah, like I said, you guys, I will be vlogging. So once I make it home, I'm going to show you guys just a little bit about, just show you guys a little bit of what happens in the day on Juneteenth in Tyler, Texas, which is in East Texas very country you know little country town i don't even know what our population is at this point the crazy thing is we have a, a semi-big population but it's still so so small there very small there you guys um but yeah that's it for right now i don't have anything else to talk about but like i said in the video um i will you know what i may come back on here at some point and talk about what President Biden did. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it or if I'll just put it in the video. You know, like type it up. We'll think about it. But yeah, you guys, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Like, yeah, I'm, you know, I am who I am, but it is what it is.
All right, you guys, so I'm back for the third time. This camera wobbles a lot. So while I was sitting at the parade, I did do a little research to see when President Biden signed into, you know, signed for Juneteenth to be a federal holiday. So what I did find out is that it was done on Wednesday. Well, no. Well, Congress unanimously passed it. Then it went to the Senate and it was passed by 415 to 14. And then it went to, you know, by, you know, Vice President and um, Vice President Kamala Harris and President uh, Joe Biden, where they signed it. And now it's an official holiday. They were in the East Wing. I think they were in the East Wing of the White House. I think I read from people, which um, I might type it up. I might type up that article. Well, no, I'll actually link it in the description bar. So the way if you guys want to read it, you guys can definitely go read it. But yeah, Juneteenth, federal holiday. Um, I did show you guys a little bit of what happens here in my hometown. I do hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys have a great, festive Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth once again to you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys. Let me know what you guys think about. Oh God, this cart in front of me. Let me know what you guys think about. You know, Juneteenth being a federal holiday. Let me know if you're not from Texas. When did you guys first find out about Juneteenth? And then that'll be it, you guys. So I hope you guys stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Remember, you guys, wash your hands, wear your mask, socially distance, you guys. And if you guys don't wear a mask, be safe. Whichever one you do, be blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Baddies ATL. I'll see you guys for Mary's Medicine. And I will see you guys for The Shot. All right, you guys, so I'm off of here. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, y'all.